Hey y'all, Catherine here with Catherine Salome Outdoors. This morning, we're out here doing some fishing in the bay and looking for some speckled trout. So right now I have an artificial bait on a jig head and we're looking for the trout. Let's get this day started. As soon as I hit the water, something hit it. Holy moly. There we go. Fish on, y'all. Oh, he released himself. This is what we're after this morning, y'all. These beautiful speckled trout. They're moving back up into our bay system because they move out for the summer, but it looks like they're back. Well, let's catch them today, y'all. It should be a good one. Ooh, there's a trout. Yeah. That is what we are out here to catch this morning are some speckled trout. We're starting out a little bit small, but hopefully they get bigger from here. Let's go. There's a fish. I didn't think I had it, but <laughs> yeah. Another little speckled trout coming on the boat. Yeehaw. We need to find your granddaddy, bro. All right, y'all, so I wanted to quickly touch on what bait I'm using right now. So I have this little artificial lure on a eye strike jig head. I'm using a Matrix Shad soft plastic. This one right here, it is called Tiger Bait. And the trout really seem to love it this morning. So, oh, Cody's getting hit right behind me. Let's catch a couple more. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. I want a big old trout, not a little pip squeak of a trout. Gotta do the fishy dance. There's fish right there. Another speckled trout. We are on him this morning, y'all. Oh no, quick release. He just came off when I tried to lift him out of the water. He was one of the biggest ones I've caught today though. Dang it. All right. Well, that's like getting the dog, yeah? Whatever, Cody. Let's try it again. There's a bite. There's a bite. There's a bite. There we go. Okay, guys. So a little tip when you handle these speckled trout. They are super slippery, but that is because they have what is called a slime coat on the outside of them. So when you hold these fish, it is always advised to wet your hands a little bit, just so that you're not taking off that slime coat layer and they have the best chance to go back in the water and live a long, healthy life and hopefully grow into the next 30 plus inch trout. Super cool. Good golly, I was reeling in and that thing just hit me. <laughs> so that last one hit me when I was just like giving up and uh, reeling in pretty quickly. So I'm going to try a couple of casts where I'm just reeling in fast, see if I can get us another bite. There we go. Another trout, y'all. Another trout. None of these are just decent sized, though. I wish we could find them a little bit bigger. Pop this out. I actually switched to a Berkeley White Gulp mullet, and the trout seem to be really liking that as well. Come here, little dude. 
I'm deep for you, cat. Pretty little fish. Let's go. Well, guys, we are off the water now after an awesome morning of fishing. Got into the trout pretty heavy, but it is like 90 something degrees at 10:30 a.m. There was no breeze whatsoever, and I was just dripping in sweat and just not feeling very good because of that. So we decided to pack it up. We got the boat behind us, and we are headed home to continue on with the rest of our day. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this fishing trip, and be sure to click the follow button so you can stay tuned for many more adventures and so much more. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye, y'all.